Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever in the world you might be. Many people have asked me over the years as I've taught Excel, how can I bring data in from another file that may or may not be open in a VLOOKUP formula? And my method of explaining to them involves an understanding of the equal sign and how it affects situations in Excel. Now, first of all, notice that I have two files open here showing side by side. Uh, the basic equal sign is this file, and this particular file here uh, has the uh, data for the uh, VLOOKUP uh, formula that we're going to insert shortly in this file. I purely have two files open at the same time here uh, so we can see how easy it can be. Now first of all why and how we use the equal sign? Well here in this cell in C5 I have some data, simple uh, number 123. Over here I want to bring that information into there without copying and pasting so that if I change the number there it reflects in this cell F5. So all I had to do was to type an equal sign followed by the cell reference that has the information in it. So equal C5 gives me that answer. If I change that to 321 and press the enter key so the data changes there. So that's nice and easy. Remember the equal sign links that cell to that cell. Similarly, in this worksheet called data from the first sheet, this data 456 has been brought in from the first sheet. Now when I look up here in the formula bar, I notice that there are single quote marks around the sheet name followed by an exclamation mark followed by the cell reference. So all I had to do, I'm going to delete that particular formula to show you. And now what I'm going to do is to type an equal sign, go back to the first worksheet, the basic equal sign worksheet, click on that cell, and then simply press the enter key and you'll notice that the data has been brought in. Now, let's see again, if I change this information here to 654 and press enter, and then go back to data from the first sheet, worksheet, I see that it has changed. Now, the important thing is to understand that if you want to bring in data from another worksheet, then you must enclose the name of that worksheet in, a sing in single quotes followed by an exclamation mark uh, which separates the worksheet name from the cell reference. So, so far so good. Nice and easy. Now, I have another worksheet here, VLOOKUP in another file. So what I'm going to do, I want to type a name in A3 and then have the VLOOKUP formula I'm going to type in B3 to look up the data here in this file. So first of all I'm going to type a VLOOKUP formula. Equal VLOOKUP, open a bracket, uh, A3 will be holding the information I want to look up followed by a comma and now all I have to do is to go to the other file and drag through the data just as I normally would in a VLOOKUP followed by a comma, followed by the number 2 because the information is in the second column, followed by a comma and the word false because the names are not in alphabetical ascending order. Close the um, bracket and let's look at the formula. Equal VLOOKUP. Look up what's in A3 and now let's notice here in single quotes followed by a square bracket because the square bracket is the name of the file that the information is coming from and then it says VLOOKUP data 
and then the cell references C5 to D8, followed by the number 2 and the word false. So now let's, let's press enter, and now we'll type in the word Sue. Let's see if Sue's sale of 2 is entered in B3. And there it is. So we know now that I can bring data in from another file. And some of the magic of Excel that I'll show you now defies imagination because remember Tom, Mary, <coughs> Sue and Bill, I'm going to close this file and I'm going to type in here Bill. There's Bill Sales. So now I'm going to type Tom just to triple check. Tom Sales are four. So hopefully, guys you can, and gals, you can see that I can bring in information from a closed file, provided I have the formula correctly written in the uh, cell itself. So there we go. Uh, proof of the pudding is in the eating. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.